Hey guys, welcome back to The Last Spell. So today there isn't a gameplay video, but more of a guide. So as you, many of you have seen, if you have played The Last Spell at least one run, finish one run of it, you will know that there are these uh, things that you have to unlock or more commonly known as meta progressions. So on the right side here with the light one, uh, you have the unlocks. Um, so there are the achievements that you have to unlock. So some like things that you have to do in the game. Uh, you have to complete certain tasks in the game in order for you to actually unlock them. So these ones I have unlocked, so they like I can't really see what challenges they were before, but it just unlocks a lot of uh, basic stuff. But so like I ha I still have two here that I haven't unlocked. So it's just for example, here I have a, a hero reach fifty in critical. I have a hero reach uh, three hundred in health. So these are some things that. Yeah, like challenges, achievements, basically that you have to do in the game uh, you, so that you can unlock them and gain the benefits from these things. So these are just the basic buildings in the game, scavengers camp house, all these gold mines, all these other stuff. But this is not what I'm going to be talking about today because these achievements you will eventually unlock as long as you play the game. Um, most of them are quite simple. For example, for the yin, you just have to beat knight 5 in order to unlock the yin. So um, most of them are like you had to beat a certain a knight number in order to unlock the building or whatever, uh, whatever achievement that is in that golden side. But for this purple side. So this is where I'm going to be talking about today is that the tainted essence that you get are limited. What the tainted essence is, is this resource, um, something like a, the gold, but it's a resource that you can you get to keep and then get to improve yourself for the rest of the runs that you do. So it's a uh, permanent unlocks for all of your other runs. And you get these tainted essence from killing monsters or killing the enemies in game. So uh, the more you kill, the more tainted essence you get. And obviously the more the farther you get into the game, like so if you beat night 5, the amount of tainted essence that you get, it's more than the uh, Tainted Essence that you would get in Night 1, for example. As long as you continue to play the game, you will get more and more Tainted Essence. But what I want to say in this video is that since the, uh, there's a limit on the total amount of Tainted Essence that you get, you want to use your Tainted Essence sparingly and get all those important upgrades first before you unlock some of the just good to have upgrades. So I'm gonna uh, go over the uh, everything that is here and then talk about the importance of the, these things, the upgrades, and just make sure that I guess you guys spend your tainted essence on the important upgrades rather than just the stats. So in this game, in order to get more equipment, more gear, or different gear in the, for that matter, you have to unlock them. And most of them are locked behind this tainted essence. So we have like something like the magician set, uh, more wands, more short bows, the more swords, um, like more starting armor. More starting armor is actually good, but like it's not needed at all. But a sack set, cloth armor, um, Longbow, hand crossbows, tomb, tombs of secrets, spears, hammers, power staffs, warrior set. Like a lot of these are just things, just more different kinds of 
different variations on the weapons that you have unlocked through things like the mixed weapon sets. So the mixed weapon sets are actually the uh, ways that you get to unlock the different weapons in the first place. So if you look at the mixed weapon sets one here, uh, so you, you can unlock hammer, hand crossbow, and tomb of secrets. And then there's mixed weapon sets two. I think the mixed weapon sets two is on the other side. So you can um, mix weapon sets and yeah, mix and then the next one is a mix mix weapon sets five, which you unlock the two handed sword, rifle, and magic orb. I think the other side has the other mixed weapon sets. So yeah, mix weapon sets three. Mix of mixed weapon sets two. These weapons are locked behind the both sides. If you can't like progress through the game on this side to get the unlocks from this side, you can at least get enough tainted essence to unlock some other weapons on this tainted essence side. The weapon sets are definitely useful because you get to unlock a lot of different uh, weapons and get that much variation and then many options for you to uh, get things started so that you're not only limited to the sword to the I think you start off with the wand and a the sword the wand and the short bow so you want you can vary it up and just get some other different weapons beside that obviously uh, the other one that's right down here is action points. Uh, the first action point actually doesn't cost you a bunch of essence, but the second action point costs you, I think, 5,000 or 10,000 essence, which is a lot. And you want to save up to get this, even though the gear upgrades to unlock the sets, the different sets, and the different more stuff, more stuff. While those cost uh, less essence to unlock, you really want to just save up and get the action points too. And then there is also an action points three. The action points three, it's very, I think you don't get to, you don't even unlock this. You can't even get this thing to appear in the, in this, uh, interface until you unlock some other stuff uh, besides action points too. I don't really know what that is. Maybe you have to unlock the experience gain or s some or the mana too uh, for your heroes so that you have some basis and then you get to actually get the, the chance to unlock this action point three. This action point three costs you, I want to say 25,000. I think, yeah, I think it is 25,000. It is a lot of essence. You can't even get 25,000 essence from one single whole run of the game. So you have to do it through multiple runs and then you get it. The action points in this game are really important. So unlocking them is very important as well just unlock the focus all your essence as long as you see the action points you save up your essence and then unlock them they're very just very important they'll help you if you're trying to go face against the uh, apocalypse levels so apocalypse 2 ha there will, are more enemies on the field so you need more action points yeah, so that you can have more actions to deal with the enemies. So you really need that. Other than that, um, having like, there are a bunch of different heroes uh, so that they are generated with better stats. So like there's better hero traits, better traits for your heroes. There is the starting armor. You get, you ac actually get some more starting armor for your heroes, mana, they, they are generated with more mana, so you can actually use a lot more mana, and you don't need to build the mana well. I don't know, really know what it's called, the mana well thing, to 
replenish your mana. You don't need to build that building, and then you can use that, uh, the money to build that building to build something else. Obviously, unlocking the armor maker building is uh, also important. I don't think this costs a lot of essence since it is a building unlock. All of the building unlocks in this game are quite easy to unlock. Uh, either the essence, it won't cost you that much essence, and if it's on the other side, the, on the golden side, the unlocks, they're fairly easy to achieve. Yeah, other than that, the additional mages, it just gives your magic circle more health. Uh, so it's actually not very useful at all. Because if the enemies are starting to hit your magic circle, you're probably just dead. Uh, <laughs> there isn't really any reason uh, for you to let a, an enemy through to hit your magic circle. Uh, if you can't defend everything, then you're just probably dead. So the additional mages 1 and 2 are just not really necessary at all. Unlocking the mixed armors are good, but there is something even better, uh, which is the Wealthy Haven. The Wealthy Haven 1 gives your the new havens 50-50, 50 gold and 50 materials, and Wealthy Haven 2 gives your new havens 100-100, 100, 100, 100 gold and 100 materials. This is especially useful when you're getting to Apocalypse 3, uh, once everything costs more gold and more materials. Everything costs more gold, more materials, so if you have this boost in gold and material from the start, you can actually build three gold mines, night one, and then on day one, you can actually build the three gold mines, and then probably a house, to just on the side for maybe like scavenge purposes or use uh, for other stuff or even like mine the gold mines to get some workers. And so you can either build three gold mines or you can upgrade one of your gold mines with the money instead. Uh, maybe upgrading is better. But I mean, that that's uh, another video, that's a topic for another video, like the build orders and the upgrades, what to spend your gold on and all that stuff that will be in another video. But unlocking Wealthy Haven 1 and 2 are really important. So like what I want to just say uh, in general here is that there are a lot of unlocks and if you're like me, who just wants to unlock everything, get everything finished, it doesn't really matter the order that you unlock, but in order to make your life and my life easier, I just, I focused all of my essence to unlock Wealthy Haven and Wealthy Haven 2, and to unlock the action points. Having three extra action points just changes almost everything. And then having the 100 extra gold and materials in the beginning, it just makes all your gold generation, everything like just that much better. There's another thing, unlocking ballista and catapults are also really important since they are buildings and they really do help you with the defense. The ballistas are really good at killing stragglers coming onto the corners of your town or your city. Everyone who comes to the corner, they will get killed by the ballistas. And the catapults, catapults are just there to weaken the enemies and you can kill the, the enemies with your heroes. Focus your essence on the better unlocks instead of just continuously unlocking these random weapons. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's everything I want to talk about for this video. Hopefully you guys learned something. And so thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please do consider subscribing. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Peace.